Our base running is, is probably some of the more aggressive base running in the major leagues. I think um, when you when you start the year and you set out, I think every team, all 30 teams, will want to be described as an aggressive base running team. Um, I think with that, when you're going to be aggressive, I think it's important to realize that in order to be aggressive, you have to make some outs on the bases. Um, there's no team that goes through the year that um, does not make outs that is an aggressive team. If you're going to be aggressive, you're going to make some outs on the bases. So uh, there's going to be times where we go through periods where we're making a few more outs on the bases than we would like, going first to third or first to home. Um, uh, home plate to second, uh, stealing bases, all that stuff. It's going to happen. Um, but I think by and large, we, we have really good base runners. We have really aggressive base runners. We have a lot of team speed. Um, so I think with that, there's going to be periods where we're really good and it goes well. And I think there's going to be some small instances where it doesn't, where we make some outs. And um, I think in that Seattle series, we had a couple guys thrown out, maybe a second base trying to steal. That's okay. That's a good thing for us because I think um, over 162 games and into the playoffs, if we're, if we're aggressive, we're going to come out on top more often than not. We've talked so often about how guys like Gunner, Jorge Mateo, Cedric Mullins kind of get their own green light. You, you trust them to read that. You trust their speed. Are there other guys who are kind of on the cusp of maybe developing into self-starters? Yeah, the way Hyder does it, we have guys that have green lights every day, and then we have guys, depending on the pitcher, that get green lights for that one game. So there's probably five or six other guys that you didn't name that um, on any given day will have the green light for the day. What does that mean to you to have watched this team develop into what it's ultimately become this year and consistently staying atop the AL? It's really neat. You know, I was here in 2021. I think we lost 110 games. Um, I know Hyder and Cuz and some of the guys were here earlier than that. They're here in 2019 and, and went through their lumps for a couple more years than I did. But, you know, to be a part of this thing when we weren't very good and to be now in a, in a situation where we go through a day like yesterday where we lose 19 to 8 or it wasn't a good game for us. But... I think in 2021, there had been a lot of frustration after that game. I think in 2024, we just kind of see it as a, as a bump in the road. It's not a big deal. We're really confident in our, in our players and the players' ability and our ability to win games. And it's a lot easier to move on to today, on to the next game. So um, it, it's important to go through the, the, the down period in order to really enjoy the, the period that we're in now. Back-to-back day games can be tough. I guess the good news being that after yesterday, they did have the night to reset this one. What's the key for you, though, especially when it comes to these guys' routines of, of making sure they're not burning out? Because this has still been a pretty big stretch. Yeah, it's been a heck of a stretch. Um, we we ask our guys to take ground balls almost every day. I think we're unique in the major leagues in that. Um, we put a lot of... A lot of a lot of thought and a lot of effort into our process um, and being consistent with our process like a lot of teams do but I feel like we do it as good as anybody in the league um, but we also know with that that we got to give these guys a blow they can't be in this thing every single day if they're taking ground balls every single day they're gonna get tired especially when we get in warmer weather you know and maybe this isn't Baltimore heat but it's still pretty warm out here um, so we're, we try to be smart about it we try to communicate with the players and get an understanding for how they feel that day and um, if going out and going through the process and the routine is good for them that day or they just need to take a take a day and relax and, and get some rest and recovery.